Hey, what's going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to be doing a follow-up video on the 500 free animations game animation sample project from Epic Games that was dropped yesterday. If you haven't checked it out yet, definitely go and download it. It's free. Grab it and start playing around with it. What I did was I migrated my own level into um, the sample project. And then using the level prototyping blocks that they've provided, I was able to make it so that I've, you know, essentially turned these static meshes into traversable objects, meaning you can jump over it, climb onto it. So without further ado, I'm gonna jump right into it, all right? Um, if you're coming to my video, you know, without having already seen my other video, I would suggest going to that video first to learn how you can get your custom character into the scene. And then you can see how I built these uh, static meshes. So very quickly, you can already tell, I've basically gone to this folder called Level Prototyping. And within that folder, there should be these two blueprints, Level Block and Level Block Traversable. Level Block Traversable is essentially a child blueprint from Level Block. Uh, but what I did was I dragged this object or this blueprint into my scene. And then I've scaled it to hide it within my other static mesh that I want to turn into a traversable object. All right, so I'm going to demonstrate that with this tractor. I want to make it so that she can jump on top of the tractor. All right, so drag this into the scene using R to scale and make sure you're scaling the um, the blueprint and not the static mesh within it and um, you know I'm just gonna scale it to kind of cover the area that you want to um, jump over uh, one thing to note is that I don't know if this is the the proper way, but it is a way that um, you know I, I figured out how to do this uh, with the help of uh, Gabriel P. I'm just gonna give him a shout out. I'm gonna link his channel below. Uh, he's extremely knowledgeable about Unreal, and he was able to give me some tips on how to do this. So big shout out to Gabriel. <clears throat> So once I've scaled it to kind of like, you know, what it's going to be, now um, there's going to be a couple things you want to do. So go into Edit Blueprint of that level traversable. And the first thing we're going to do is with the blueprint selected here, we're going to make sure this is ticked on, Actor Hidden in Game, okay? And this is so that we don't see the... Um, this block once we're playing the game but we do want to see it you know while we're building the game the other thing to know is that there is a weird thing that happens with collision so you know with these splines right here within the blueprint you can see how it's built it's a static mesh which is basically the block and then there's like these splines that are dictating the area that you can actually um, climb over okay so the problem is that when these splines are being collided with a, a mesh um, it kind of like disables it um, so the workaround is by selecting your static mesh and please let me know if there's a better way to do this or if I'm doing it the wrong way but after many you know different ways of testing this this is sort of what I've come to a conclusion of you have to turn off the collision. So collision presets. Actually, I'm gonna go to custom because um, there is one thing I do want. So I'm gonna check everything is ignore, but for camera, I do wanna block the camera. And maybe visibility, I'm not sure. Like you guys tell me in the comments what I'm doing wrong. Cause I, I know um, there's tons of pros out there that are actual game developers that can help me with this. So let's test this out, out real quick. Yes, and it works. 
So that's the easy way. Um, you do have to fiddle around a little bit. Like, see, she doesn't, she's not able to get back over it. So the tricky thing is that, and you know, you see kind of like she's um, going into the tractor. So that's the trade-off, you know, the tractor is probably the most difficult thing to do. Um, one thing to know is also the size of this block. If it's too small, it won't really work. So you, you have to make it so that it's kind of like wide enough so that she's able to jump over. Like that's what um, happened over here, like this one. At first, she wasn't able to go over it until I made it just a little bit wider. Okay, so for this tractor, let's see if, what happens if I make it a little bit wider. Then maybe she can um, come over from the other side. Yes, see? So, you know, you can finesse this and collide and block off like this part if you didn't want her touching that. Um, but essentially, this is how you do it. Hold down Alt and you can like basically copy over one. You know, make it like that. And there you have it. All right, leave me a comment and let me know what you think. And yeah, if you find a better way to do this, let me know as well. Peace.